All right, we're just about finished with Ryu. So let's go over a short combo demonstration and I'll go over his strengths and weaknesses. I'm gonna try to keep this short and concise and effective. So in general, here's what you wanna do. You can use standing medium punch, standing medium punch. And what you wanna do is if you have bar, then go into EX Fireball or EX Tatsumaki actually. Actually, yeah, EX Tatsumaki is better. If you don't have bar, then go into crouching hard punch to make them stand up and do a hurricane kick. And you want to do the light version because you can follow into a super. And if you want to do a little bit more damage, then do the medium version. And you could still, you know, medium them or anything on their wake up. But you, I don't believe, I don't, to my knowledge, you can't combo into a super from the medium tatsu. But you can you can get more uh, carrying distance if you try to do the hard version you're gonna cross up when they land so if you're trying to get them into the corner that's something you don't want to do but I guess if you're coming from the corner then use the hard version or if you just want to do damage then just use the hard version but it's only gonna be a little bit more damage all right so other ways to combo is solar plexus so after that, you do a standing medium into a hurricane kick if they're standing, or a fireball. Or you can just go short, straight into Shoryuken. It's really up to you. Uh, whatever the situation is, it's I leave it to your judgment. Um, you can also get one more hit. I demonstrated this a little earlier. Into that. So those are his combos, his basic combos. Um, that's pretty much it. If you somehow get a meaty for this, then you can combo into a short and into a short you can EX Tatsumaki, regular Tatsu, or whatever you want. Um, let's see what else. If you do a hard kick, then no, forget that. Let's just go over crush counter combos. So, suppose doing crush counter and you have V trigger. Actually, let's go over without V trigger. So, if you don't have V trigger, you can do you can do this or Tatsumaki and if you do have V trigger then here's what you would do you would you would uh, you would do this go into this whoops And then go into super. So that was hard kick crush counter on a standing opponent into his target combo, into V trigger, into a light hurricane kick, into his super. And that does a lot of damage. If you get a crush counter on someone who's jumping, you can do a hurricane kick. Let's see, let's push them away. Or you could do a hard short, hard short you can, hard DP. But uh, to get the most damage, you want to hit them as low as possible. See, I did a lot of damage on the ground. But if you hit, let's say um, you hit them a little bit, a little bit too high, then that deals 162 instead of 200 something. So that's a huge difference. So I'm, this is just talking about being optimal here. Uh, there we go. So you could do that out of the corner as well, in case you were wondering. And you can also do a super. I think that's too low. Yeah, that was too low. There we go. I think that would work. No, that's too high. Alright, that's the right distance. This guy hit for sure. There we go. Alright. So those are the conversions you can get from Crush Counter. Uh, if you wanted optimal combos, there's probably not the best videos, but it's just to get you started and show you what's possible. Alright. So with that out of the way, let's talk about Ryu. So his strengths, I think he's a really good character. He's got above average damage output. He's got above average uh, stun output thanks to his V trigger. Also speaking of his V trigger, his V trigger makes it really easy to to uh, co hit confirm with Ryu. So for example, you do an empty jump short, V trigger into that, and then you have V trigger. You know, for the rest of your V trigger mode. You can do more. You can do more stun. And if you do a stun, then you can do another combo. So in general, that's just really great. And it's really amazing. Secondly, easy hit confirms. Standing medium punch. Standing medium punch. That's all you need to do. 
if you're jumping on your opponent and you don't even know which side you're ending up on, all you have to do is standing medium punch, standing medium punch into whatever you want. Um, and if you're even better than an average view player, you know, you have this down. Oops, that's supposed to be crouching hard punch. And I had counter hit on, so let me turn that off. And you can do this. So in general, really easy combos. It's just really simple. Also, he has an invincible reversal option with his medium TP. Uh, do be careful because on reversals, you're put into a counter hit state. So if your opponent knows how to do a full crush counter uh, punish, then you gotta be in, in for a world of pain. And also, lastly, he's just well rounded. He's got he's got a cross up. All right, he's got projectiles. He's got multiple anti airs. He's got a parry for. Uh, specific situations. He's pretty much got every tool there is. And he's just really easy to use in my opinion. Alright, some weaknesses. Um, I don't think he has any glaring weaknesses uh, to be honest. Um, I mean his combo game does suffer from um, from uh, you know from if they're crouching and if you don't know how to confirm. But I feel like it's more of a skill thing than rather than an actual like weakness. That's just one thing I can think of. His V skill. Um, it's probably gonna be the least to use V skill in the game because it's hard to use. It's a lot of risk, and the, it's very hard to get anything out of it unless you have to be really good to be able to use his V skill at a high level. And finally, uh, low mix up pressure or low mix up in general. He does have an overhead, um, but. Actually, you know what? I don't even feel like this is much of a weakness because mix-up in this games is not about like 50-50s and things like that or vortexes and stuff like that. It's more about you know being fundamental, like with shimmies and counter hit setups and empty jump lows. You know, we was more than capable of doing you know his fair amount of mix-ups, even if he's uh, you know predictable as most people would think. You know, like a solid Ryu is going to be hard to break and difficult to beat. So overall, I guess what I meant to say is he doesn't really have that many weaknesses. It's just that his V skill is hard to use. But I feel like he's going to be one of the greater characters in this game when he's fully mastered. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you learned anything. And if I missed out on anything, then put it in the comments. And, uh, and I'll be grateful for that. Other than that, uh, look forward to my next tutorial. And yeah.